Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We've been having some really good runs, we're on a really good streak at the minute, and we are jumping in as Eden. What mark we got to do here is we've got Mega Satan and Delirium to go for. So, two pretty weird ones. We'll see what sort of run we start out with. We did have Eden's Blessing on our last run too, so we'll see what extra we start with. Does, he, does Eden's Blessing not work anymore? Because this is the second run in a row that I've had Eden's Blessing and it not give me an additional item. Uh, also, the items we've started with here are doo doo stinky. Um, really, really not good. Uh, our health is also bad. Our stats are also bad. This is a pretty rough Eden star. Uh, Dead bird is is like literally useless. The spacebar item is not terrible because at least um, at least we do gain the ability to have reusable bombs. But overall, this is not a good start. This is a little bit of a rough spot. I mean. Two soul hearts is literally the lowest uh, HP you can possibly start with. Also, cares the rebirth. This is not ideal. Uh, yeah, not not a good start, really, I'd say. Not a good start. Ooh. Ooh, the razor blade. Okay, this is... This is the streak killer, currently. Um, this is... This is honestly... The most despicable room... I've ever seen for Cares of Rebirth. This is going to be horrible. I'm actually kind of glad I got hit just to have the crow to do some extra damage for me. Because this is going to take a night and a day for all of these Rebirth. Luckily, none of them have so far, which is kind of bizarre. Um, but yeah, the crow is actually helping a ton right now. Which speaks to how bad my damage is that the crow is actually useful. Like, that, that really speaks to how terrible our damage currently is. Okay, just about got through that. I will bomb this for a key as well. Um, I'm just going to use a regular bomb. Yeah, not not a good start at all here. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't end our streak. But the fact that we've only got Mega Satan or Delirium to go for does scare me. Because that means we need a pretty good run to, to make either of those work. Okay, so Rebirth on first floor is rough, my guy. It is rough. This is a horrible room as well. I'm just going to do the rounds and try and get as many shots on target as I can and hope they don't. Goddamn rebirth. Fuck me. Okay, one of them standing in the middle there next to the sternies. Not ideal. Okay, just about got through that. Um, plus two range damage. It's pretty good. Is it worth bombing our donation machine? Will we even get enough money? I'm going to do it anyways and see if we do. We don't always get enough money, but let's hope. We, we're, we're off by two. Gosh darn. Okay. We'll see what we can do with that. But yeah, this is this is one of these runs where we're going to have to min-max and play it kind of slow. Dude, okay. He uh, he came at me with some ferocity there. Um, Yeah, this, this could go... Oh. Well, it's looking like the streak is not long for this world, people. It's looking like the streak is not long for this world. Did we have a soul heart we could buy in here, by any chance? Of course not. Right, this is going to be rough. We we have to be very cautious here. Uh, secret room is looking to be here. I'm not entirely sure about that. Go. We have to... Oh, actually. I'd rather take the burn heart, I think. There you go. Okay. Little bit more, little bit more okay with how things are going now. I'm very glad that I went for secret room there. Oh, you big fat bastard. Instantly got hit. I mean, luckily we've still got the burn heart alive. That was scary. This is a fucking amazing item though. Very happy about that. Massive speed boost outside of combat. One of my favorite items. Um, I would very much like to buy that. So let's let's try and get two coins, shall we? No pennies thus far, but there's quite a lot of fires about here and there and everywhere. Hopefully one of them can yield us with a reward. Um, Razor Blade doesn't do much for us. I guess we could use it to get into the cash room, but we can't, we'd lose our burn heart on the way out, I think. I have but one option, and it's probably not going to pay out. Yes, it paid out. Hell yes, okay. Slight bit of damage increase. Nice range increase. Burn uh, thingies on hit. 
I'm a little bit more happy now. Okay, this is... I, I'm, I'm really happy about the boss item we got, to be honest. The massive speed boost outside of combat is honestly one of my favorite boss items you can possibly get. Just because of how uh, crazy the speed boost actually is. It gives you so much speed. Good. Another soul heart there. Okay. We're doing good. This is a fucking hard room. What the hell? Ain't no surprise I got hit there. This dude's firing off loads of homing shots. What the hell? What the hell, man? What the hell? But yeah, little bit of a rough rough start. I'm really hoping we get a fire rate increase. Good old Mr. Dolly coming our way of this boss fight. You know it's true. You know it's true. Mr. Dolly is the best of the best. Quickly just destroy these fires. This. This is terrible. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Razor blade first floor. Clicker second floor. This is, uh... This is not great. Got a secret room at least here. Yeah, this is not great at all. Um, I didn't th expect... To the I so I've been having a lot of luck my past few runs. I didn't expect it to completely run out. Uh, as for as for um, the question of the day, what's been your r recent bad luck? What's some bad luck you've had recently? Another tinted rock in there. That's good to see. At least we're getting lucky on the HP drops around. But overall, this is kind of doo doo stinkers, isn't it? <laughs> what? <laughs> as if I walked into that there. My God. I don't think I can get birth here, but I'll try. Oh, I can. Hell yes. Hell yes. I will check out the shop here. Broken stopwatch is honestly pretty decent. I would probably take it. Spe sped up rooms is annoying, but it's such a low chance. But I think it's worth. Troll bomb. Can't do too much with that. Good old Herming boy once again. I don't know why they're showing up so much on this floor, but apparently it is tis the season. I absolutely love Mr. Boom. It, like, the delay from the bomb exploding is quite slow, but it's like Bob's Rotten Head level of damage. It's really good. Come on, Mr. Dolly. Mr. Dolly. Mr. Dolly. Mr. Dolly. Mr. Dolly. That's not Mr. Dolly, but that is a damage upgrade. Honestly, I'm so desperate for damage, I'm going to go straight to Devil Deal. Um, although, thinking about that now, it, mo it means we have to go Delirium, which is scary. But I'm, 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 I'm doing it anyways. I'm doing it anyways. I, I suppose we could get a sack room down the line. Um, but there you go. I'm just so de like desperate for damage increases and stuff that I, I really can't be asked. And this bad boy... Really, really good DPS increase. Uh, not only giving us DPS while we're in his radius, but also just passively dealing damage while he's uh, pootering around the room. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna pay too much attention to him in terms of trying to stick within the radius. I'm just gonna let it happen when it happens. Honestly, most of these small rooms, you get a good chance of being in the radius anyhow. You can see how much damage it's doing already. It's crazy. But yeah, I realize this is obviously counterproductive for uh, trying to. Um, Go for, what's it called? Trying to go for Mega Satan, but there's other ways to get to Mega Satan, and Delirium uh, is something we can go for, and we could, like, we could do Delirium Mega Satan in one run, but it's not super likely, like, the chances are, like, only 50-50, so... We'll just see how it goes. I'm hoping we just get, the like, a lot of health later on in the, uh, in the run, and the ability to just take a punt on, um... Uh... Thingy room, uh, sacrifice room. That was terrible of me. I really don't know what I was thinking there. I Also, I planted a real bomb rather than my space bar. I don't really know why I did that. Not what I intended. Old boot. Unfortunately, I, I, item rooms have been devastatingly awful at the minute. Like, old boot is decent, but it's, it's not great. It's kind of like a slightly better ladder. 
It's like a ladder with some extra bonuses. At the minute, we, we have to take every advantage we can get. I was hoping for an item there, sadly. That's not what we got. Good, good. Yeah, the boosts are doing decent extra damage. It's all... It's all adding. Friends till, Friends till the end. We've got enough money to uh, thingy now. Just gotta be aware that it closes gaps, because sometimes I forget. It doesn't destroy rocks, though. Yeah, we are clearing rooms at a, a pretty rapid rate now that we've got all this going on with the boot and the, uh, the succubus boy. God. Oh, fucking Herman, goddammit. Homing got me again. Lovely. Succubus, you're doing a grand old job. Dude, so many things with Herming. Please stop. It's getting rather annoying. Please, 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 please. You fucker. God damn it. I knew I should have waited, but you just never know with this guy when he's going to pop up or down. I was hoping I'd just gamble at the start and it'd work out. Sadly, I could not be so lucky, but I mean, it's going to be an easy kill regardless. It's still just a bit annoying, though, is all. Good, good. We got him. Defibs are not terrible. Every other room, we gain a damage bonus, basically. Cross all these gaps. Roll of film. Spawns faded Polaroid trinket. That's pretty decent, to be honest, at our current level. Also got a trinket out of it, which is kind of nice. Right. Oh, where we go? Yeah, I don't know why Eden's Blessing just isn't working. That's the second time in a row we've had Eden's Blessing and it's done nothing. A real shame. Oh, hello, it's Peach Creep. I wouldn't have expected little old Peach Creep to be here, but I'll accept it. Health up is very nice. Secret room is looking like it's here. There you go. We got Lost Soul here as well. I'll see if I get more HP before I grab that. And in fact, I'll grab it at the end of the floor regardless. Peach Creep, get him. Item room, still being a sack of garbage. I, I really don't like Sanguine Hook at all. Yet another active item though, but yeah, I just I just don't like Sanguine Hook. It's, it's a good active in terms of like the damage it can deal and stuff, but just not a fan. I'll just take the Yarrow Rune and grab all of these normally. Cool, cool, cool. Right, pick that red heart up real quick. Yeah, so item rooms have just been absolutely doo-doo stinkers at the moment. That's a real shame. Ah, bugger. Nowhere to open that bad boy. Oh, that hit me? Fuck, at least I can only take half heart damage right now. Otherwise, I would have been very annoyed. In fact, the spikes are only going to deal half heart damage to me as well, which is nice. This is my roll of film. Yeah, the boots are actually really nice for moving about. There's that back. Just go straight into the boss. Wait until he does his first move and then plant the uh, space bar. There you go, we got it. Peach Creep, what are you what are you doing? Fire at the big boy, don't fire at the little the little balls. Oh my god, three of them? Why? Luckily my succubus did a good job of taking care of them. Good, good. We got him. 
Bit of some fire rate, finally. This is difficult, because Sack ult is great, but if it gets for a succubus, I'll actually cry. I am not even kidding, I will cry. Uh, Scorched Earth is okay, I'm just going to leave all these. It's just not worth it, I don't think. Right, um... Do we want to do much else this floor? We definitely want to see shop, don't we? We're trying to min-max here where we can, so... Let's make sure we do. Don't know where I'm going to use Yera yet. I've not really thought that far ahead. Polly and triple shot. I can deal with triple shot. Just about. Here's our shop. Lovely. Ooh, Cricket's body. Dude, ah, oh, this is abysmal. This is not a good run. Stephen Floor, honestly, Stephen Floor is probably worthwhile here. Um, ah, I was really hoping for two Soul Hearts. If it was two Soul Hearts, I was going to duplicate. But yeah, Stephen Floor, we'll, we'll take. We'll go Stephen Floor. Because uh, I, honestly, our item rooms haven't been worth diddly fucking squat recently, so... Oh, we'd still take full heart damage on that. Okay, great. I thought we were going to take half heart damage because of our uh, roll of film, but apparently it doesn't affect spikes for some reason. Is it good to know? Uh, right. Take me, Steven. I see you behind the screen. You're slouching. Sit up straight. I am sitting up straight. Bugger you. Ooh. He gave us an angel item and a pretty good one at that. Oh God. Well, my little soul dude is dead already. Dude, the, what the fuck are these guys? I've never seen that enemy in my life when I've been down here. Where did he come from? God, this run is still pretty pathetic, I've got to say. <laughs> we've, got, we've got some better stuff going on now, but it's still not what I'd call a good run by any means. Trying to look for things to Yera, but not really finding it. Did we even go to our shop on that last floor? I don't think we did. But then again, I wanted to save my money for this floor, so it's fine. I'm pretty sure secret room's here. No, it's not. Okay. We don't want to enter it straight away anyways. Nice extra burn heart. Probably shouldn't have just picked that up. In fact, I probably should have Yera ruined it. Don't care for those goobers. Soul of Eden's pretty decent. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. That's very good. Thank you. Oh, fuck are you. No, I'm not giving you that. You did give me a soul heart, though. That's nice. Gotta remember that Yara rune's on the floor. It seems like it can insta-kill some enemies as well, this crucifix item. Like, it can skip their final phase sort of thing. Which is rather nice. Gives us a bit of herming as well when we're in the radius. Radius seems to last a decent amount of time too. Filling up that heart. Lovely. Peach creep. I love you little lassie, but I am going to give you away. It's pretty good. I'll take that. I was tempted to Soul of Eden it, but I think it's better off that we just take it. Good. Not a fan of this room. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? He switched into another enemy. Didn't realize that was going to happen. Get out of here. Mini boss. Hello, hello. Oh, I, I keep forgetting that the mini boss rooms in this floor aren't actual mini bosses. They're just lies. Ow. Ooh, 
Lots of large rooms that I'm not a fan of right now. Oh, that bloody hit me. Don't lose the burn heart, you goose. We got some healing from something there. Do we get placenta or something? What do we have that's healing us? I don't really rightly know. Oh, ghosties, can you fuck off? Again, I'm just going to give him it. Fuck's sake. Pretty good. Okay. we got to find secret room now. Good stuff. Is this secret room here? Looks plausible, right? Yes. And check this room. Yes. That's not secret room. Oh, there's a mini room. That was so stupid. That was so obviously not secret room, you goddamn goose. That's not even a goddamn wall. What's wrong with me? So clearly not. Where the hell is it then? I fucking hate this when it's like super important that I find the secret room and I have no fucking clue where it is. So every floor I'm like, ah, it's right there. Super easily found. And then it's like an important time for me to find it and I'm like, I have... Zero fucking clue. Okay, we found it. Good. So you've got a whole crock of shit, to be honest. Um, I'll be honest, this is not what I was hoping for. I'll, I'll take that. Do I Soul of Eden this and hope that I get better items for cheaper cost? I mean, I got the sensor. I'd say that's pretty good. Okay. I'm reasonably happy with that. Would have been nice to get monstrance as well, but... It is what it is, homebolio. Right. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Okay, I should get hit instantly. Don't lose that thingy heart, please. Slightly hard to aim our fires. Oh, what? Uh, excuse me. Okay, I don't know how I wasn't hit there, but that guy literally just pushed me against a wall. I literally have no idea how I didn't get hit there. I don't know how I didn't lose my burn heart there. That was... Kind of incredible. And we got Pinhead for some reason. I don't know why, because we're supposed to get the same item every time from this guy, but I love Pinhead, so I'm not particularly upset about that at all. Okay. Let's keep this groove a moving. This run is it's it's something. It's certainly something. I like the fact that we got that, so we can just insta-kill certain rooms. We've got to try and keep our little ghosty alive if we can, but it's not a priority. It's just... He just there. I'm surprised he doesn't rotate around us with a friendship necklace, actually, but I kind of get why. It'd be kind of a, a little bit silly if he did. He just put himself in harm's way. Secret room. Uh, I guess I'll just take the chaos disc and pop it. Good. Good. Dude, we're getting a lot of these red buttons. I like it. I like it a lot. Ugh. 
Not even, it's not even worth the 0 0.1 speed down that it gives. It's literally not even worth it. That item is so bad. Ain't nobody standing still for like a second and a half in Isaac. When has that ever happened? Please, please, please. Okay, we got fire right out of this. Oh god, the rope. That was so funny. Ron heart ain't bad because it fills my um, thingy heart that wasn't filled already. Lost our items there. Okay, that's, that wasn't terrible. The hermit. The hermit. Um, just realised we can't actually afford anything in there. Soul heart. Don't know how I'm going to keep my little ghosty alive here, but I'm going to try my goddamn best. I don't think it's going to happen, I'll be honest. My fires are going a bit wild. I'm just firing off whenever I can, to be honest. They charge up pretty quick, so... Okay, we managed to keep him alive. That's nice. Doesn't rem really matter which one of these we take, because we're going Delirium, so we'll take the damage. Um, Seven seals, I think, is worthwhile. And we go down, and we hope he gives us an item or a fuckload of soul hearts. That's... that's decent. It's not exactly what I want. I'd rather, rather have a few soul hearts, but that's still pretty useful. Yeah, this is... this is like a trying run. It's not... it's not a crazy bad run, but... Ah, oh, my ghost is dead. I also got hit there as well. Just remember, if we get to the point where we're about to fight Delirium, and I'm clearly not ready for it, the streak is quite important to us at the minute. So let's just remember to try and keep the streak alive. Where's my Yarrow Rune? Did I ever use that? Bugger. I left that somewhere, and I don't remember where. Oh, it's when I used the Hermit card, isn't it? Balls. It's fine. It just it's just gonna upset me to my very core is all. No biggie. No mini boss. Basically, at the minute, if we want to go Delirium, we have to fight Hush and hope the items from Hush carry us through. And I think I'm ready for Hush. Hush is a little bit of a tough one here, because honestly, I feel like a lot of our damage is coming from the fires, and the fires will be kind of useless against Hush. Also, our Crucifix item will be mostly useless against Hush as well. So it's like, it's a little bit iffy. Hey, look, Penny's kind of nice. Thank you. Oh, this guy got reworked. I completely forgot about that. I don't think I, I literally don't think I've fought this guy since he's been reworked. Really cool rework. Much better than the spikes just appearing up the ground randomly. 
Right, nice. HP. Devil deal. Um, these are both fantastic. Hellfire's... Hellfire's less good for us right now, I, I think. Hellfire's good, but, like, it's got that delay and, like, like it's not going to help on Hush. Dark Matter is a damage up that just helps now, so I think we'll take that instead and keep the rest of the HP. I would like to have taken both, but we just don't have the HP if we're going to do Hush. It is what it is. Oh, bugger. I assure you, I did not intend to get hit there. Now this is a hard enemy to fight. This guy fires off a lot of herming shots at you. And with him being a champion, he's kind of an ass. The fires do a ton of damage. Just gotta get in there and then put the fires on them. Kills Merslings. Oh, the boots there. The boots did a real good job. That was kind of really satisfying. Can this build do Hush with this HP? Is the question right now. Oh, dude, you pushed the bomb away. Are you actually kidding me? Oh, wait, did the... I think the fires destroy shots. Okay, the fact that the fires destroy shots makes me way more confident for Hush. I didn't th realize that they did. I know most fires in this game do, but I, I don't know why. I just didn't contemplate that the these did. Okay, we've got this wave, which always hits me when I don't want it to, so... Oh, also, this is... Oh, God, this is really, really gross with a... Uh, Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> With the sensor, that's basically impossible. Uh, let's. We're gonna have to take a gamble on this. It's. I'm risking the streak, but the fact that my fires can destroy shots makes me a little more confident. That's very good to see straight off the bat here. Unfortunately, didn't get anything really great, but tears up is nice. He's a, a crock of shit. I mean, it's dad's key. I guess we, I guess we take dad's key under the assumption that we don't get out of this in a good situation. Oh, even, even this is taking a while. Honestly, Sensor is kind of horrible. <laughs> I always forget, like, the Sensor after Repentance just got made into kind of a terrible item. Like, the hell am I meant to do with all these tears about my guy? Yeah, I kind of forget the sensor is not great. It just makes tears linger way too long. Because before, it used to be that tears were, like had a like an expiration time, like they were on screen for a certain amount of time, not they had to travel a certain distance. The in the repentance they changed it to where they have to travel a certain distance. So even if they're slowed, they still travel the same distance. They just travel it slower, which just means there's more opportunity for there to be more tears on screen at once. So we're doing good damage here, but the problem is we're having to stay really, really close to hit as much of the fire as we can. Um, and also block as many shots as we can, which certainly adds to the complication. But we're, we're killing him reasonably fast. Just keep letting the fires do their things. I love the charge bar for the fires as well. It's such a cool, unique charge bar. 
Oh, P Pinhead does do some cool stuff with this guy, though. I forgot about that. If you, like, link up all the enemies and kill them, it does, like, crazy damage to the boss. This is another one that Sensor kind of screws up a little bit. What the fuck's that shot doing? Why is that one so wieldy? Like, unwieldy, sorry. Why is that one going all over the place? This is taking some sweet, sweet time. I, th I think we're definitely going to go Mega Satan here just because I don't think we're going to be able to um, do Delirium at this stage. Our health is really low. Our damage output on Hush is clearly not great, especially considering our main damage is from the fires and we're having to get extremely close to make those work. Oh, fucking stop going underground, you useless prick. I just, ah, uh, I love the people that make this game, but why? Why would you think that's a fun idea? It just baffles me. Does anyone in the comments know why games do that? It's such a bad, like, I feel like it's such a lazy boss boss design mechanic. It's just, ha ha ha, you can't deal damage now. You just have to wait. It's like, well, if you were just let me deal damage to you, I could kill you. It's not, you're, you're just delaying the inevitable. Anyhow, this is going reasonably well if he'd stopped going underground. This attack's a little rough for us here. This attack's also a little rough. I don't have the speed, dude, I don't have the speed. It's literally faster than I am. It's literally faster than I am. Why is it fa- I thought that was never able to happen. Oh, you've got to be fucking- That health. Right, down we go. Probably should have gone up, um, but I wanted the damage from thingy. And I get this guy straight away, who literally every single time lasers me. Do you know what? Fuck you, no. <laughs> get me out of there. Get me the hell out of there. Oh, this is a... Fucking pain in the ass, this one is. Actually, it's not so big of a pain in the ass, actually, because I can just skip over the, the thingy. Kind of forgot about that. Oh, great. Invisible dingles. Oh, this is tedious. I might not even do Mega Satan at this rate. The streak is important to me. I'm trying to keep it alive. Oh, I walked right into that bomb fly. Ooh, and I nicely just walked straight into that laser as well. That was... Oh, okay. Okay, things, are, things have really started to fall apart here towards the end, haven't they? Might not even be able to kill Satan. The streak, baby, the streak. Think that's good for us? There's not much else I can do here apart from just try. It's This is going to be bad, but... Three, two, one. Okay, that's good. Now just the feet sees. I got hit against the feet straight away, literally. Okay, we got through it, we got through it. Quickly head back over to that red heart and then we get out of here. Hopefully one of the devil deals is offering us up some HP. Give us like sin rubs or... I don't know. Give us something that's going to give us a nice chunk of HP. 
Otherwise, we're in for a little bit of a, a, rude, a rude awakening, I think. Empty vessel. Um, pretty good. It is two black hearts. I think I'll take it. And then we could take this for the flight and invincibility chance. I think I'm going to... This is a big risk, but I think I'm going to go for it. My just touch is not what I was looking for. Does this does that key open these? Ah, that'd be good if it opened those. Managed to get that button just about. Oh, dude, the buttons are clutch right now. Oh, the buttons are so clutch, baby. Oh, this guy's actually pretty good. He could give us quite a lot of good stuff here. Also, this will just give us flies, right? Nope, it gives us nothing. I'm gonna pay out with literally anything, my guy. I've given you like eight keys already. Oh, and a red chest that has no items in it. This dude is an absolute fucking joker. These guys are terrible. Unicorn stump. Unicorn stump's actually interesting. I'll take unicorn stump. I will take this and I'll be on my way. Dude, the, the, the buttons are so clutch right now. They're just like on the doorstop. I was just about to say, I've got to make my way around the room because there might be a button somewhere. I've got to look. This is so clutch right now. This is absolutely... Dude, this is saving our life. Sadly, some wrong ways we have gone. My goodness, this is so clutch. Can I please go the right way, though, for once? The red buttons. It's like a 10% chance for them to appear. And they've been, like, in every single room on this, this floor. Like, literally, what the hell's going on? This is so clutch. This is crazy. There's a soul heart in here as well. This is actually saving my life right now. What the hell is going on? There's another one. It's every single goddamn room, baby. This is absolutely bizarre. I still don't think that I can safely say that I could do thingy. Um, pop that down. I think I can still charge my fires while I'm invincible, so that's what I'm going to do. I didn't get much invincibility there. Oh, I'm still invincible from thingy, though. Okay, it's all gone now. The invincibility is gone. Oh, he did the twisties. I didn't expect the twisties. Anyways, this floor basically saved itself, which is kind of crazy. Um, we will end off the run here because we need to. And I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.